Hello. Say hello. Hello. And welcome to Mr. C and Lucy's presentation <laughs> on data charts. Today we are going to learn about two new vocabulary words, median and mode. You ready to learn about median and mode, Lucy? Okay, let's get right into it. Go ahead and ask it. Why do we need to know this stuff? Well, I pulled up the things from the last lesson. If you didn't watch the last lesson yet, go ahead and check out maximum, minimum, and range in my first video. Um, you know, we're going to be talking about data charts. They're important when we're talking about voting um, or polling for any reason. And you can do experiments on demographics. And, you know, uh, uh, if you ever want to be like an ESPN analyst or anything, data charts and data uh, are very important. However, personally, I don't think there's a lot of adults that actually use median and mode, which we're going to talk about today. Okay, so I brought Lucy along because I figured she would make it more exciting. Right, Lou? Yes, and make it a little more memorable because these vocabulary words are kind of difficult to learn. It's kind of hard to learn how to do, but it's important that you know it because they're always on those pesky tests. Okay, ah, um, spoiler alert, student name is going to be there. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up our data chart from last time. Um, I don't know if you guys remember this. I fixed it. Uh, so we had uh, Jenny... If this data chart looks weird to you and you're going, I don't remember this, uh, it's probably because you didn't watch the first video. Uh, so we said Jenny had eight siblings, Hector had three, Quindell had four, and then both Roxana and Destin had three siblings. Um, Rogelio had five, Zamaya had two, and Amaranani had four. So when you are looking at a data chart, you're going to see something like this. Lucy, what are those called right there? What are those? Do you know? Numbers. Yes, they're numbers, okay? And it's telling us the number of siblings that each of these kids have, okay? Do you, um, so we learned the maximum, we learned the minimum, and we learned the range. Well, today we're going to learn how to identify the median, okay? This is a very precarious one. You have to do it in a certain way. So when you do the median, I'm going to... Do it in red here. I'm going to underline it in red, and then I'm going to do it in red. You've got to pull off these numbers from smallest to largest and line them up. You have to rewrite them. So watch. I'm going to rewrite them right now. Lucy, do you know the smallest number over there? What number am I writing right there? What number is that? Um, a. No, that's a 2. 2. Yep. So then there's 1, 2. But look, how many 3s do you see over here? Yes, there are three threes. But Lucy, look, you have to write each one. <gasps> you can't just write three one time. You have to write it all every single time. So how many fours do you see over here, Lucy? Um, one, two. Yes, there are two fours. So we're going to write the two fours down. You're doing so good. Okay, let's see. Are there any fives? <gasps> how many fives do you see? One. Okay, we've got to write that five down. And then let's see if there's any numbers bigger than five. Oh, do you know what number that is? That's an eight. Eight. Yep. So you wrote them all down. Okay, you have to do this every time you're finding the median. Okay, it's boring and it's not a lot of fun, but you line them up from smallest to biggest. Can you say from smallest to biggest? From smallest to biggest. Yes. Now, the next thing we're going to do, let's change colors here. The next thing you're going to do is cross them out two at a time. So you go to the outside two. Well, it happens to be a number two as well. But you cross out the two and the eight at the same time. And then you cross out the first three and the five. And then the second three and then the four. So look, we've crossed out one, two, three, one, two, three. There are two numbers left in the middle. Okay. So since there are two numbers, we have to find the number that's halfway in between them. This is where it gets hard. What number is halfway in between three and four? Well, it's actually three and a half, 3.5. So our median is 3.5 here. Now, if there was only one number left in the middle, let's say that instead there was a nine over here, right? And we crossed out the two and the nine and then the three and the eight and the three and the five and the th three here 
and then the four here. So now we've got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Our number in the middle is now a four. Okay, so it's all about finding that number in the middle. If it's two numbers, you have to divide. But if there's only one number in the middle, well, you're in luck. That's the median. That's kind of tough, huh? Did you understand any of that? I didn't think so. <laughs> but this next one is not that hard. Okay, we're going to learn about the mode. Can you say mode? Mode. Good. Now, Lucy, look over at that data chart that's over there. Do you see all these numbers? What number do you see the most? What number comes up the most? Let's see. Do you think it is... Look at how many times that number comes up. What number is that? Three. It's a three. Very good. Do you see how the three comes up? Let's see. Let's, let me point this out so that everyone at home can see it too. It comes up one, two, three times. That's a lot of threes, right? Yeah. So the mode for this data set is three. Because that's the one that comes up the most. Can you say mode is the most? Mode is the most. Yeah, look, if you remember, mo, M-O, for mode and most, well, hey, they both start out with the same two letters, mo. So mode is the most. Say Pop, it again. Pop, it rhymes, it rhymes. It, it sort of does rhyme. Very good. Yeah, can you say mode is the most one more time? Mode is the most. Okay, so... Can you say good luck, everybody? Good luck, everybody. Okay, so good luck, guys. You're going to have to experiment with this for a little while. If you're having a problem with median, talk to your teacher. Or back it up and check out this video again. I know it's confusing. You've got to try it a few times. Mode is really easy, though, okay? So let's erase this. And let's go to our what did we learn screen. Well, what did we learn, Lucy? We learned what a median was, right? And we learned what a mode was. They're kind of difficult, but we have to know them uh, because when we're doing data charts, we have to know those things. Yep, there's an L for learned. Very good. And for Lucy. Yes, and for Lucy. Your name starts with L as well. Okay, so we uh, we also learned that you have to line up your numbers, your data, from smallest to largest when you're doing median. Okay, you can't you can't do them out of order, right? Say, I'm gonna remember. Okay, you better remember. All right, so we're going to have you guys ah, try it. We forgot to type that in. Oh, no. That's okay. This is what you guys are going to do for the try it section. You are going to find the data chart that you made last time. Remember when you learned maximum and minimum and range and you talked to all your the kids in your class? Do you remember? She didn't do it. But it's good that she's pretending. You guys did do it. So go find that data chart. This time, I want you to find the median and the mode for that set of data. <gasps> think you can do it? Do you think they can do it? Are you sure? Say, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Okay, median and mode. It's difficult, but you can learn it. Okay, so try your hardest and say, we'll see you next time. Say it. See you next time. Say, say bye. Bye.